YouTube, what's up? We are still outside and we are driving around, I guess, in the mountain. All right. So last time I made a video about the challenge mode and I was going to make a short, but there is a change that came out like 10 minutes ago or 15 minutes ago. And I'm going to talk about this change specifically and we're going to do some uh, testing on our side and then we're going to see what's up with the challenge. So there was a very good change and we're going to talk about this specific change right now. This is basically a follow-up to the Pokerog update that I did on the challenges and that's going to be something good. So we're going to talk about the commit first, then we're going to go in-game and we're going to do some testing. All right. So if you are here for the second time, please subscribe and if you want to like the video, like the video. All right. So this is the change I was talking about earlier. And uh, as you can see, we have make starter selection account for evolutions and form. So what this is going to do is there was a point where you couldn't like take a specific Pokemon because it was either from a different generation or you couldn't evolve, you know, so pick it, evolve, or if it was for a monotype as well, there was some Pokemon you couldn't take because of like evolution and stuff like this. So this is the fix right now. We're going to see if it works. I have done some tests on my side. It should work, but we're going to do it on video uh, right now. All right. So what this change does is mainly for challenge mode, of course. So now if we go into Gen 4, for example, there is some Pokemon that you can select in Gen 2 that are currently in, um, how do I say this? So they're in Gen 2, but you can't pick them because their last evolution is in Gen 4, right? And now you can actually do this. So if you select Gen 4, like I just did right now for the challenge, if you go in Gen 4, you have obviously all your Pokemon here, but you have nothing in Gen 2. So what you need to do right now is pick your first Pokemon in Gen 4, and then you should be able to, to pick sorry, the Pokemon in Gen 2. So right now, for example, uh, let's say I'm going to pick um, Buniri, whatever, who cares. Now, if I go in Gen 2, as you can see, we have the option of choosing Pokemons that are going to evolve in that specific generation. For example, Glaga is going to evolve into a Gen 4, which is a uh, Gliscor. Then we have Sneasel that's going to evolve into Weavile in Gen 4. We have Misdrebus, uh, Murkrow, Yanma. We have Epom, etc., etc. So this is this is really the big change here. There is obviously the flying type. So for example, here right now, if I go into No Gen and I go into flying type, for example, if I can find it, <laughs> flying type, flying. There you go. So if I go in flying now, I cannot pick Magikarp, right? Because Magikarp is a water type, but later on, Gyarados is a, a flying type, right? So now, for example, if I pick PG, as you can see, some Pokémon that are gonna evolve later into a flying type are gonna be available to select. So you need to select a Pokémon from that specific challenge and then they're gonna become available. And so now, as you can see, we can pick Magikarp. So what I'm gonna do now, so when I did my video, there was some issues with evolution. So I'm gonna pick a Gen 4 Pokémon and I am going to pick um, a Gen 4 challenge, sorry. So there is something you need to understand, right? Even if it's a Gen 4 challenge and you can select a Gen 2 Pokémon, you cannot use those Pokémon in-game, right? Because they are from Gen 2 and you are doing a Gen 4 challenge. You can only use them when you get their evolution. All right, does that make sense? So for example, if you pick Togepi, you can only use Togekis. And that's a problem for Pokémon that have friendship evolution. Of course, you have candies, right? But you need to take this into account. So you cannot like take bad Pokémon in Gen 4 and then count on the Gen 2 one because that's not going to work. So for example here, what I'm going to do, I am going to select uh, the uh, Riolu for, for carrying and I'm going to try to evolve Gligar and Sneasel because those two are, can, can be evolved very easily, right? All right, so you're going to lose my model for a second here. This is me post-edit. I'm currently editing the video and I'm... I didn't show you that you couldn't pick those two Pokémon. So as you can see, we are in the Gen 4 challenge right now. And if I try to pick something like Sneasel or Gligar, you can see that the challenge doesn't let me pick them or select them right now because we are in Gen 4 and those Pokémon are Gen 2. I wanted to add this specific thing into the video just because I wanted to specifically show you that you cannot pick those Pokémon if they are not in the right form for the current challenge. So, to evolve a Gligar into Gliscor and a Sneasel into Weavile, you need to, you need to level them 
or evolve them during the night. So currently we are at night as you can see, which means that if I find a rare candy, actually just level them overall. Okay, so this is the best, this is the best case scenario here. So you could technically find the XPO at level eight, right? Or the rival give it to you. Then you can evolve them and then at night they're gonna both evolve. Now I have a rare candy, so gonna, they're gonna both evolve. And the thing we want to see now is check if we can select them. So if you try to select them without uh, evolving them, you cannot do it. It says you cannot use them in the challenge just because it makes sense. Those are Gen 2 Pokemon, you cannot use them in Gen 4. Makes sense. Now we're going to evolve. And since we are at night, they should level up. Hopefully. Okay, there you go. So Glagar is evolving. Nice, there you go. So now we have a Gliscor. Gliscor is, uh, is Gen, uh, Gen 4 Pokemon. Okay, and now uh, Weavile should evolve as well. Uh, sorry, Sneasel into Weavile. There you go. So now we have Weavile as well. So now what it should be doing is we should be able to choose those Pokemon. So I'm going to kill this Weedle. And now if it asks me to like, choose a Pokemon, there you go. I should be able to use Weavile and Gliscor without my game glitching out. And there you go. As you can see now, we evolve a Gen 2 Pokemon into a Gen 4 Pokemon and we can, uh, we can now use them. So this is a huge change. And this works for Monotype, this works for Generation, this is a huge change. I cannot stress this enough. This is insane, all right? I'm, I'm very happy about those changes that are coming um, like the next two or three days. There was the, um, like yesterday or two days ago, we had the, the nature menu with like saving the, the preference, right? Uh, if you didn't see the video, it's actually very good. We can... Uh, so when you when you restart now, you can keep your your uh, preference and you can restart very fast. Then we had the, the the transfer all button into the transfer menu. Then we had the type int. Those are very very good updates. But this one here, specifically for challenges, is a big thing. So there you go. Let me know what you think about this update. Obviously, this is a good one. Uh, hopefully, there's not too too much too much bug coming with it. But I am very, very, very happy about this one, as you can tell. So that's going to be it for me. I'm very happy about this one. I'm going to finish the Endless event or the Pride event with my Endless run. And then we're going to come back to Challenge mode. Uh, but there you go. You can follow me on Twitch, blah, 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 YouTube, like the video, subscribe, etc. I will see you in the next one. Bye.